Hello and welcome. I am recording a walkthrough slash test solve of the first round of the Microsoft Excel Collegiate Challenge 2024. So I've done a video on the kickoff case, I've done a video on the meal plan case, and this is the last case from the round, which is called Data Mixup. So th this was the one, the one that I was by instinct going to start right away, and then as soon as I got to it, I saw the football data and the meal plan case so the, 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 the data from the two cases got mixed up. So like, okay, I might need to actually go and do those other cases first. So here I am back to data at the end. So let's see, the data got mixed up. Analyze the data below to answer the questions on the data mix up case answers tab. You can answer the first six questions with the data in its current condition. To answer the last four questions, you'll need to fill in the missing data. Note that each team name is associated with only one arena name and one arena location. However, there are two arenas that are home to multiple teams. For example, in row 44, the team name associated with Inglewood, California could be either the Los Angeles Rams or Los Angeles Chargers, and both teams play in SoFi Stadium. As a result, the correct team name for row 44 cannot be identified. This will not impact any answers, so either team name can be used to fill in the data. Okay. All right, let's see what the questions are. So what, what does it mean that data got mixed up? It seems like... The data is. Uh, I'm confused. Anyway, okay. Uh, boom. So, what is the total amount spent on food across all transactions? So, yeah, sum of last year opening year price. Huh? Wait, what? I feel like something is missing here. I mean, what? Are we assuming there's one hot dog sold in each of these places? Well, let's see. The total of that is 51,000. Are the answers here? Yes. Okay, fine. The answers here are approximately 51,000. So I thought there might be some weird multiply by quantity or something. I don't know. That's... Can I just highlight that one? Because that seems... Wording seems a little weird to me. But anyway. Once you get in, it's pretty clear what's going on. Okay, next. What is the most expensive food item in the data? Return the value of food associated with the highest co Okay, so we're going to X look up uh, 10 to the 9, some number that's going to be bigger than any of them. In here, lock, returning from here, lock. Uh, and exact match or next smaller item. So the answer is yogurt. Uh, and these are not in alphabetical order. Okay, fine. Which arena opened first? So, same trick. This time we're going to X look up zero, assuming the years are all. Well, these are all things in the United States of America, presumably, so they definitely will be. Uh, okay, so arena name. Okay, this goes on and on and on. Uh, five, seven, four, five, seven, eight, four. Yeah, five, seven, four, four. Not five, seven, eight, four. Yes. And uh, then exact amount for the next larger item, and it's Soldier Field. Okay, what is the total capacity of all arenas? Include each arena's capacity only once. Okay. So I hope and trust that every time an arena appears, it has the same capacity. Let's just check that, and the answer is yes. So I think one way to do this would be to group by. Uh, arena name down to wherever the heck the end is. Five seven eight four. Uh, group by so give us the average capacity. Will give us the only capacity. That's what is that spilling into here? All right, never mind. Just move it out of the way. Try over here. There we go. Uh, what is the question? What is the total capacity of all arenas? The only question is, are the blanks showing up? And the answer is they are. So we're going to get rid of that. Mm. So first of all, get rid of the totals. Um, and then, then we can add a filter for this is not equal to blank. This is not equal to blank. Yes, now we only have the real ones, and then we can sum that. Uh, and the text will get 
and the text labels will all get ignored in the sum. So we'll just get the numbers. So it's 211707. No, what? Hmm. Interesting. Could each. Okay, let's try this a different way. Be a little bit more old fashioned about it. Grab all of these, drop them into a new tab, get rid of the empty space in the middle, remove duplicates, and yeah, I still get 2117070. Okay. Unless the only other possibility is, first of all, are these all unique? And the answer is no, there is one repeat. Okay. But is there some capacity that... How would you even do this? I don't know. I don't know why is it calculating data tables. I wanted calculations on partial. This is the file that has all the case design team solutions in it, which have tons of data tables, which means I wanted calculations, and they are on partial. I don't know why it recalculated the data. So, yeah, no, there's no capacity that is not accounted for. I don't know. I think there's probably just a gap or a mistake or something. I'm going to move on. How many different types of food are sold? So that would be rows of unique of the food column. And that's 50. Which food item appears most often in the transaction? So that would be another group by case. And a group by food, by food, and rows to see how often it appears. Um, and then we can do minus two to sort descending. And uh, what? Oh, sorry, not enough commas. So we want the minus two to be in the sort order. That's good. Got a spiller, so let's cut it and put it over here just so we can visually check. It's doing approximately what we want it to. And it seems to be, and there's more ramen noodles than anything else, which is fine. So let's find ramen noodles. There it is. Okay. How many team names are missing from the transaction data? Count the missing observations from row. 25 in the team name column. Okay, but hang on, wait. Didn't it tell me that from here on I would need to impute data? Mm -hmm. Answer the first six questions of the data in this current condition. Answer the last four, you'll need to fill in the missing data. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's just see what the other questions are. Uh, mm, this is a little compressed. I'm just going to highlight that. Uh, do then. So I think this is just equals count blank of team name here. Down to the end. One one five seven. Yes. How many transactions are reported in Kansas City, Missouri? And this is where I think we do need to go and fill things in. So, first, let's try and fill in arenas. So to do that, I'm going to grab the rows where there is a team name and an arena. Drop those out together. Oh no, why? Why is it calculating every data table when I paste a value? That's super annoying. There are too many data tables. I don't want to calculate them all. Okay. Eventually got there. So we're going to remove duplicates. We've got 32 teams. There's that. Okay, so now I can go to... Oh, I'm super slow. I can go to all the blanks here where there is a team and do the lookup because I still like to do a VLOOKUP sometimes 
mix of sentimentality and sticking it to the haters. So that's that. Then, still got some blanks, but fine. Uh, I guess let's do arena name to arena location mapping. Don't calculate the damn tables. Oh my god, that's killing me. It's making me tempted to turn on manual calculations, which I never do, but I'm going to try to avoid that for now. Right, so remove duplicates. 30 unique stadiums, which makes sense because we had 32 teams and it said two stadiums host multiple teams. So now we go to where the location is blank. And we do look up this in here, lock to zero. Okay. So now what blanks do we still have? We have no location blanks, that's great. What arena blanks do we have? Okay, so most of these No, okay, so yes, location to arena is unique. So I can X look up from here into here. Stick it to the haters, but I still use X look up to go backward because that's better. Uh, okay, so sorry, just calculate all of those. Okay, and then the team name. I'm just going to have to guess in the case of the dupes, but it did say it doesn't matter, I think. So not impact any of the answers, so either team name, fine. So let's X look up this arena return either of teams associated with it, if there are more than one. Okay, so now, uh, how many transactions are reported in Kansas City, Missouri? Let's just grab Kansas City, Missouri. Now we're going to go to count ifs. Nah. This lock is E42. Okay, that's 164. Happy days. Total value of transactions in the global district of Pecor Stadium. Huh? District values equal global and real. In oh, there is a district. Okay, fine. Uh, so, sorry. Arena name is. Paycor and, okay, so Paycor Stadium and District. So we're going to some ifs. Should have made this into a table as well, I need that. Never mind. Where the arena name is something that I'll link to in a second, and the district is uh, this. Oh, I hate to insert this sheet name. And this is, well, move out of the way, as you can see, E45. Zero? No, that's not good. Uh, what? Pecor Stadium. Sorry, I put in the word district. I should have put in the name global. There we go, 404.2, nope. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm not very happy about that. So, sorry, wait, uh, Pecor. Uh, and just double check, we said global Pecor, yes. Total value, yeah, okay, 404.7, okay, well, don't know, don't agree there. And how many transactions occurred in California? So, California, and we just want count ifs. Uh, where, oops, sorry, why don't we just do it that way? Where that is star and California which is E48, 541, yes, all right, 
I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll have to check. Uh, looks like I just, just, just uh, got the three done within the hour. That was no mean feat. Uh, anyway, all right. That's what I got for today. Uh, if, if I immediately figure out what went wrong here, I'll, I'll jump back in and add it. But otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, so I had to do a little digging around, but I think that my answers on 4 and 9 are good. Uh, I think just a little uh, little wobble in the solution model, but that is why we do answer checks. Anyway, uh, all right, so yeah, nothing, nothing to report. I think that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.